So let's see. Um, I think it's a good idea to look at the second equation. We can do some factoring. From here, let's factor out x, y, and then we will get x plus y, and that will be equal to 30. Ah, do we see it? Hmm. You see that we have x, y, it's in the first equation right here, and then x plus y, we also have it right here. So what that means is that we can actually just do a very nice substitution. So instead of working with the x, y, or x plus y, we're looking at this as a new variable. So I'm just going to call that to be, let's say, a. And then the other part right here, x plus y, let's call this to be, no, not c, b. Yeah, just kidding. So, if you take a look at these equations now, the first one can be written as we have the a right here, and then we just have to add this and that, which is our b, and then that will be equal to 11. So that's pretty nice. And then secondly, we have the a and also the blue part, which is b, and this time it's multiplication. So we have a times b, it's equal to 30. So now this is much easier to work with, and let's go ahead and proceed with a substitution. Perhaps I will isolate the a, so I will move this to the other side. So this means a is equal to 11 minus b, and I'm just going to put this right here. So we get 11 minus b times b is equal to 30. And then multiply things out, this is 11b minus b squared, it's equal to 30. It's a quadratic, right? Just move things around. So this is going to... Let's, let's move these two terms to the other side. But I'm going to put that down first though. So b squared minus 11b minus 30 is equal to 0. And then I will just solve this one for you guys by factoring, okay? So we have b minus 5. Well, actually, no, it's plus, plus this 30 because I moved these two terms to the other side. So it's plus 30. So b minus 5 times b minus 6 is equal to 0. So this means we have either b is equal to 5 or b is equal to 6. Whew. No, we're not done yet. Don't be too happy. And <laughs> you know what? We also have to figure out the a. And this is the bizarre part. We have a lot of combinations, or four of them to be exact. You'll see. But let's see. When b is equal to 5, that means a is equal to... Let, let's put it down right here. When b is equal to 5, this means a is equal to 11 minus 5, which is 6. And let's just focus on this one right here first, right? So this is like the first case. Because what we have to do next is, b is equal to, sorry, a is equal to 6, and b is equal to 5. We will have to set this back right here. So this means x times y is equal to the a value, which is 6, and then x plus y, which is equal to the b value, which is equal to 5. Oh, yeah, another system of equations. Do this by substitution again. So I'm just going to move the y to the other side. So this means x is equal to 5 minus y, and I'll put this back there. So we have 5 minus y times y, it's equal to 6. And uh, this is 5y minus y squared, it's equal to 6. Move these two terms to the other side, but we'll write them down first. So y squared minus 5y plus 6 is equal to 0. <laughs> y minus 2 times y minus 3 is equal to 0. That means y is equal to 2. And the other one is y is equal to 3. When y is equal to 2, x is equal to 5 minus y. So this right here tells us x is equal to 5 minus 2. So that means x is equal to 3. Woo, keep this in mind, it's crazy combinations. <laughs> Not like combination problem, but like the choice of the x and y. But yeah, you know what I mean. And then the other one is x equals 5 minus 3, which is equal to 2. So we have two answers so far. Let me just put them down right here. Answers, ladies and gentlemen. The first answer is 3, 2. So I'll just put on 3 in red and then 2 in black. And then the other one is the <laughs> opposite. So we have 2 comma 3, All right? And you think we are done. No, not yet, because remember, we also have to look at this choice when b is equal to 6. So when b is equal to 6, when b is equal to 6, a is equal to 11 minus 6, which is equal to 5. <laughs> yeah, this 
equations are very symmetrical. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, let's go ahead and do it. So this means because a is equal to 5, so we have x times y is equal to 5. And then the other equation is x plus y is equal to b, which is 6. And then again, let's solve for the x right here. So that means x is equal to 6 minus y. And then put this right there. So we have 6 minus y times y is equal to 5. And then just pretty much do the rest, right? So this is 6y minus y squared is equal to 5 y squared minus 6y plus 5 is equal to 0 and then this time we do y minus 1 times y minus 5 is equal to 0 and we have either y is equal to 1 or y is equal to 5 when y is equal to 1 we put it back here this means x is equal to 6 minus 1 which is equal to 5 and you know the other one is just the opposite I feel like this gonna be an easier way than this but I don't know it looks pretty cool though because we fill the entire board so I'm happy with that and then yeah we're almost done so let's finish it <laughs> okay x equals 6 minus 5 so that means x will be equal to 1 so ladies and gentlemen two more solutions the next one is 5 comma 1 5 comma 1 and then lastly, we have 1, 5. Ah, pretty good, pretty satisfying, in my opinion. Alright, so, ta-da! What do you guys think?